Porter, Cards and Dice TV, and we are replaying a 1980 Jerry Kuzman game using Fall Classic Baseball. We're in the top of the second inning. It's going to be Eric Soderholm, Lou Pinella, and Rick Sarone. Let's take a quick look at these lineups from 1980 New York at Minnesota. It's going to be Jerry Kuzman versus Tom Underwood. All right. And Eric Soderholm, we're going to roll a three, a 2d6, and we're going to read the black one first, and then we're going to roll, roll a, a, a red d20, and that will give us the out. So here goes. He's a right-handed hitter, All right, and he's a slow runner. And we're just going to read uh, whatever the result is. It's a 24, and that's going to be a 1-2. If the d20 is a 1 or a 2, it's a hit by pitch, and it's a 15. So that is going to be a ground ball to... 15 is the shortstop, and the shortstop, Smalley over, gloves it over to first and in time for out number one. Keeping an old school paper and pencil score sheet. All right, and it's a 55, and that is a little flare, and that dunks in there for a base hit, Lou Pinella. Hit that off the end of the bat, and it drops in, in left center field played by Edwards and Pinnell is on with a single here's Rick Cerrone the pitch to Cerrone is a 61 and uh, pitching of course is Kuzman and that's going to be a strikeout Kuzman is an A pitcher here's Kuzman's card so you can see how the cards come they are actually rated three different ways for their C stuff their B stuff and their A stuff today Kuzman is on his A stuff just so happens. And he strikes out Cerrone for out number two. And next is uh, Bucky Dent. And that's a snake eyes, and that is a base on balls. No, it's a 17, so one to 14 would be a base on balls. It's gonna be an out. The 17 is in the air to left field. Uh, drifting over is Edwards, and he's under it for out number three, so no runs, one hit. One left, and we go to the bottom of the second inning. Jose Morales leading off Reggie Jackson and Pete Mackinnon. Pitch from Underwood, that's a 62. And that's a fly ball center field. Jones, Rupert Jones, I remember him from the Seattle Mariners in 77. Makes the catch, one down. Ron Jackson. Not Reggie Jackson, but Ron Jackson. Reggie Jackson, of course, with the Yankees. So we have two R. Jacksons. That's a 25. I may have said Reggie Jackson when I saw the R. Jackson. 24, and that is, again, it's a hit by pitch. And no, it's not. One to five. We rolled a 19, and that's a drive into right center field. On the run is the right fielder, Reggie Jackson. And Reggie Jackson runs it down. So Ron Jackson to Reggie Jackson, and that's two outs. Here's Pete Mackinnon. And that's a 65. That's going to be a pitcher home run card. We're going to have to check the pitcher. If the pitcher gives up a lot of home runs, um, you know, he's going to have a high number there and it'll probably be a home run. We rolled a one. That's almost an automatic home run. It is a minus four. Let's check Tom Underwood. Tom Underwood is a seven. So minus four. So it's a one, two, three. And we happen to roll a one, so that's a drive to left field. Back goes the left fielder, Brown. Bobby Brown looks up, and that's gone. Pete Mackinnon connects for a home run. And the Twins and Kuzman up one nothing in the bottom of the second. Butch Weiniger, a future Yankee, he will join the Yankees in a couple of years. The pitch is switch hitter batting from the the uh, right side against the lefty Underwood, that's a 36. And Underwood is a B, that's a 36, and that's gonna be an out, a 20. is gonna be a line out to the shortstop, L6. That six uh, tells you. So that is one run on one hit, the home run by Pete Mackinnon. And we go to the top of the third inning. Jerry Kuzman. The Mets retired his number just the other day. Mets aren't playing tonight. They're actually off. And here's Bobby Brown. 
Mickey Rivers was the Yankees' 79 center fielder. This year, it's uh, Bobby Brown and Bobby Brown didn't have, you know, half the season that Ricky Rivers had in 1980. Mickey Rivers ended up batting 330. Brown, 260. Here's a pitch, and that's a 45, and that is a ground out to the uh, batting for the right side, ground out to the third base, uh, shortstop, excuse me, gets that in the hole, long throw to first, in time. Got Bobby Brown by, by half a step. All right, Willie Randolph now. He's uh, one for one with a stolen base. He's single the stolen base in the first inning. And that's an 11. That's ball four. So Randolph is on for the second time. You can pick this game up for $20 PDF. Rupert Jones. It's a 13. And that is going to be, if it's on the ground, it's a double play. It's a line out. So it could be to the first baseman. It could be a double play. Let's see. And it is! Oh, lying to first base, and he steps on the bag right ahead of Randolph. So it's L3-3. Yes, sir. -y. And the Twins and Kuzman get out of the inning. No runs, no hits. Nobody left. And we move to the bottom of the third inning. Here is Bombo Rivera. That's a 55, and that is ripped to left for a base hit. Oh, wait a second. Yep, it is. Not only that, that's going to get pat. That's going to roll to the wall. Bombo headed for second base and slides in the tag, and he is safe. Bombo Rivera with a leadoff double. And here's Dave Edwards. It is uh, one nothing Twins. Here's a pitch from Underwood. That's a 16. That's a swing and a miss. Chases a ball outside the zone for the first out. Edwards heads back after Fanning. And uh, here's Roy Smalley with a run on second base. And here's the pitch. Smalley with a 42. That's a blank. And a 42 will be ball four. So Underwood walks Smalley, putting runners on first and second. And here's Kenny Landro. Kenny Landro bats from the left side. Here's a pitch from Tom Underwood. And that is a 52. That is going to be a KD check and it's a strikeout strikes out Landro on a slider down and away and here's John Castino Castino interesting player who had a great season in 1980 with a 300 batting average 13 home runs and uh, they expected him to be the the star of, of you know a major star for them at third base but uh, injuries really hampered him. I think it was back problems, and he never really turned out. It never turned out. His career never went the way everybody expected. But he did have an outstanding 1980 season, hitting over 300. All right, so first and second, two outs, John Castino versus Tom Underwood. Here's a pitch, and that is a 30, 65. That's trouble. That's a pitcher home run. A pitcher home run. Underwood is a B. And before I looked at Tom, Tom Underwood as an A, but it was still a home run because it was a one. I should have been looking under the B column because Underwood is a B column. So that's going to be a 10. We roll a seven. There's no minus. That's a deep drive. And that ball is way back center field and gone. Three run shot. John Castino and the Twins lead it by a score of four to nothing. All right, so let's fill this in. We got to get a couple more runs scored, and it's four nothing Twins. And here comes Jose Morales. Morales hit hit three hundred three with eight home runs and two hundred fifty at bats. Underwood checks in with Cerrone for the sign, and here's the pitch, and that's a sixty five again, and an eighteen is not going to do it. That is going to be a fly ball to center field, and Morales flies out to the center fielder, Rupert Jones, and that ends the inning. So three runs on two hits, the big three-run home run, and we go to the top of the fourth inning. Bob Watson, Reggie Jackson, and Eric Soderholm against Jerry Kuzman, the left-hander. 21, and that's going to be an out of four. Bounce to second base, picked up 
by Mackinnon, and he throws out Watson easily. Watson does not run well. And neither does Jackson in 1980. That's a 24, and it's a 1-2, and it's a hit by pitch, so Reggie gets plunked. Hit batter. Reggie gets plunked, and here's Eric Soderholm. And uh, Kuzma looks in with Weiniger for the sign, sets and deals. And that's a 22, which is a 1-4 to four single. It's a 16. That's ball four. So Soderholm walks. Runners on first and second now with only one out. Lou Pinnell is up next. There's a pitch. Pinella with a 52 and a 20. We're going to have to check. He fails the KD check. The 52 says we're going to pull a card to see. 52 is a potential two-base error by the second baseman. And a 7. Oh, Mackinnon. Let's see what Mackinnon's got to set. He's an 11 error, so he's going to throw the ball away. One run comes in. And the other, Soderholm goes to third and stopping at second is Lou Pinella, E4. So a run comes in on that error, and the score now is 4-1. to one. Second and third for Rick Cerrone. So Kuzman is in a little bit of a jam. So he's going to have to uh, spread it out and get out of this inning. Here's Rick Cerrone. And Phil's going to play back there, willing to give up the run for an out. I'm going to play in, let two runs score. That's going to be a 32. A 32 is going to be a drive, and that's going to be over the center fielder's head and hit off the base of the wall. One run scores, two run score, four to three, and into second base with a two run double is Rick Cerrone. That's five and six score there. Uh, runner, uh, uh, batters five and six score. And the score is four to three, Twins. And here is Bucky Dent now with the tying run. Cerrone uh, runs okay. He's okay. He scored some runs, so he, he's an A. And there's only one out. Runner on second. Here's a pitch to Bucky Dent, a 46. That's going to be a ballpark. And no park home run there. We rolled a 10, and that's going to be a foul ball, a souvenir for a lucky fan. So Dent is going to get another chance. That ball was out of play. Catcher ran out of room on that one, and here is Dent. Here's a pitch, and that is a 15, which will be an out. And that one is right back to, to Kuzman. And let's see what kind of arm. A W will advance. Uh, that is strong arm, pitcher strong arm. So I believe that's the fielder's... Yeah, that's going to be the fielder's arm. All right, so it's back to the pitcher. Kuzman's arm is weak, so that will allow Cerrone to go to third base. So two outs. And here comes Bobby Brown. Two out, tying run at third base. The Yanks with three runs here in the top of the fourth inning. Trail now by only one run, and here's a pitch. And that is going to be a 56, and that will be strike three. And... Kuzman gets Brown to chase a, a curveball in the dirt. So that's three runs on one big double. And, of course, an arrow walk and a hit by pitch. And the score now is 4-3. to three. Twins. We're at the bottom of the fourth inning. Jerry Kuzman against Tom Lundin.